please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. Scala, like Python, allows introspection, which is the ability to examine and manipulate objects at runtime. While Scala does not have a direct equivalent to Python's DIR function, you can achieve similar functionality using reflection and other features. In Scala, the primary mechanism for introspection is reflection. Reflection is a powerful feature in Scala that allows you to inspect and interact with types, classes, and objects at runtime. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can achieve something similar to Python's DIR, using Scala's reflection. This function DIR takes an object as a parameter and uses reflection to print the names of its members. When you run the application, you'll get output similar to the following. This output lists the members, variables and methods, of the sample class. Reflection API the Scala.reflect.runtime.universe package provides the reflection API in Scala. Mirror and Instance Mirror The mirror is an entry point to reflection, and Instance Mirror is used to reflect on instances of classes. Type Signature and Members Type Signature provides access to the type of the object, and Members gives a list of members, fields, methods, etc., of the object. For each loop, the for each loop is used to iterate over the members and print their names. While Scala does not have a built-in DIR function like Python, you can leverage reflection to achieve similar introspection capabilities. This tutorial provides a basic example, and you can extend the DIR function to suit your specific needs for introspection. Keep in mind that extensive use of reflection can have performance implications, so use it judiciously. Chat GPT